Uh, Dr. Richard L Johnson is lecturer in US politics at Queen Mary University of London. Uh, good morning, Dr. Richard Johnson. Good morning. Uh, first of all, just to talk about the comments that Donald Trump made, is there any evidence that he could summon to take to the courts and say this is a fraudulent election? Well, you can't go, to, go about it in that way. I think, so there is a case which I speculate Trump may be elliptically referring to, although it's often difficult to tell. Before the election, the state Supreme Court of Pennsylvania um, allowed an extra three days for the acceptance of postal votes in recognition of uh, slower delivery of postal votes. So that means that they've ruled that uh, Pennsylvania can continue to count postal votes that are received up until uh, Friday evening. The Trump campaign challenged this. It went to the Supreme Court, the federal Supreme Court of the United States, and they declined to take the case because they said there wasn't enough time. But they told the state of Pennsylvania to segregate out any postal votes received after the close of polls yesterday and between Friday in case uh, they decide to take the case up again after the election. And I suspect that that might be what Trump is alluding to, is this can Pennsylvania count the late postal votes or not? Mm. So there is there is potentially some real um, some weapons in the president's armory for this claim that the election uh, could be fraudulent if these if if these additional if some additional votes are counted. What the Trump campaign wants to argue in 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 the courts is that um, the, the the state supreme court of Pennsylvania doesn't have the right to extend uh, the counting of votes, and they're they're arguing this on the basis that the the uh, US Constitution uh, says that the, the time, place and manner of an election shall be set by the state legislatures, not the state Supreme Court. Um, that's a pretty flimsy argument because state Supreme Courts make adjudications about uh, technicalities in elections uh, all the time in the United States. Uh, but there is a way in which if you had a sympathetic uh, US Supreme Court, the federal Supreme Court, uh, they may be inclined to accept that kind of very uh, literal reading of the Constitution, uh, which could lead to uh, these late postal votes in Pennsylvania potentially being thrown out. Richard, is is that why the who constitutes the Supreme Court becomes crucial, that Trump has now got a conservative majority in the Supreme Court? Will that play and be a factor in the decision making? I think so. I mean, I think that, um, you know, the, the interpretation that I've just given, uh, focusing on the very language of the constitution about state legislatures or the legislature thereof i think it's what the constitution actually says um that uh that's the kind of mode of interpretation that amy coney barrett as an originalist would be very inclined to accept um so i i would imagine that on the sort of on the jurisprudence side of this that trump now has one more uh, very favorable uh, justice who, if this case came to the U.S. Supreme Court, I, I think, you know, put, even putting the, her political sympathies aside, which I think are very clear, I think her jurisprudential approach uh, would incline her to, to be sympathetic to the Trump argument on this. And what's the best case that Joe Biden can present to ensure that every vote should be counted? Not that that necessarily guarantees a Biden victory, but how can, uh, what, what arguments can he employ to, to ensure that all votes are counted? Well, I think he'd say, look, that, you know, it's it's common practice for state Supreme Courts uh, to make uh, adjudications on the basis of their interpretation of each state's constitution. I mean, this is the thing we have to keep in mind is that election elections are run in each individual state and each individual state has slightly different rules, some of which are governed by their own state constitutions. And that's where the state Supreme Court of Pennsylvania came in uh, last month and, and, and basically said in order to have a fair election, uh, given the context of this election, we need to ensure that late postal votes are counted. And so, you know, I think you know, the Biden campaign has ample room to look back on past precedent and practice to say, look, if you interpret this as, you know, has always been understood, uh, then, then these, these votes should be counted. It's only if you take this very literal interpretation of the constitution 
and deny the other context and, and history and practice uh, that you could get to this favourable uh, Trump ruling. But I think we can't count that out by any means. Just finally, Richard, what's the time frame for this type of thing? Because presumably we could end up with everything bar Pennsylvania being counted and Pennsylvania still being in dispute. And perhaps we might have a president without Pencil the need for Pennsylvania either way, in which case it becomes slightly of a moot point. But if, it, if there, these things remain in contest, in, not only in Pennsylvania, but in, in other states, American justice, like British justice, is not known for moving quickly. Is this the sort of thing that can be turned around in a matter of days? Well, it doesn't necessarily need to be a matter of days. So the states have until um, mid-December to appoint their electoral college electors. Um, so basically, the, the states have about a month before they have to, uh, the governor of the state has to write to the archivist of the United States for some particular reason, <laughs> going back to a 19th century rule, um, where they, they declare the winner of the state. And that's called the safe harbor date. And that's uh, second week of December, I believe. So they have they have until then to, to sort this out. Um, Bush v. Gore came to that date. That was, Bush v. Gore was decided on that safe harbor date. So, um, that's, you know, we've, we could potentially see this going for a few more weeks.